and gentlemen, today we are going to do a short tutorial on how to make things without using a pattern. Yay. Okay, Piper Dandy here. Hey, what's going on? Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out, I'm going to trace it out, and then I'm going to show you how I make that work. Okay, so I'm just going to get like a half yard of fabric. Looks like I'm going to use something stretchy because when you're first starting out, you want to make sure that you can make up for your mistakes. So you're going to get a stretchy patch of fabric here. I'm using just a basic piece of felt, some Batman felt today. Smooth it out. Make sure it is doubled. So you're going to double your fabric in half using a half yard and then you get, we're just making a skirt so you don't need that much fabric today. Um, and then we're gonna get a skirt that you know fits you and you know is stretchy as well so it's going to fit the same so I just grabbed like a little American apparel skirt that I've worn a million times and I know fits me and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this fabric inside out because we don't want to mark on anything that's gonna be on the outside so any sort of fabric that has a pattern on it usually is darker printed on one side with the other side being a little more faded or a little more hazy so we're gonna flip this guy inside out and sometimes if it has words on it you can flip it inside out and the words will be backwards but we're just not gonna worry about that right now are we no okay all right so now that our two ply half yard fabric is spread out smoothed out make sure there's no wrinkles in it we're gonna put our piece that we want to duplicate the shape of onto our fabric we're gonna smooth it out as well um, now when it comes to felt uh, I personally don't like to use any elastic you can if you want to um, but I, I really don't like to because there's no need to um, also you can wash this a thousand times and it's never gonna fray on the edges so you don't need to hem it. Um, if you're using something that will roll, like a cotton or something like that that would roll, um, then yeah, you, you should leave some room, a good like inch and a half, in order to make sure you can flip it up and hem it. But um, you don't really need to as long as you're using, if you're using something like a felt, because it's not gonna roll, it won't do anything. So then you take your good old Sharpie marker, this guy right here, and we're gonna just make a rough outline about an inch completely around the item, or whatever you're trying to duplicate. So today it's gonna to be this skirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a rough outline about an inch in width around the skirt. That's including the bottom if you wanna make your hem. If not, then you can stop at the bottom of the skirt, but I, you know, I'm gonna go a little longer because this skirt's a little short on both sides, of course. Now mind you, I, I mean, it's not that I prefer to not use um, a pattern. I just literally don't know how, <laughs> turns out. I suck at math, I suck at angles. So I've always just done things this way. I mean, it's just the way I've always done them. So everybody's like, Piper, you should do a tutorial on how you make cosplay. And I'm like, but I don't do it the right way. <laughs> so I guess that doesn't really matter, but what is the right or wrong way anyway? Who knows? So we're gonna go ahead and draw out an exact line of the bottom edge, just to give you a rough idea of where the end should be. And now we're going to do the top as well. All right, so there's your outline. And that is basically going to be your pattern. Now when we get into um, trying to duplicate things that require 
things like darting and maybe a fabric that's a stiff fabric that you know requires you to do darting where where your booty would go where your breasts would go then that's going to be a little more of an in-depth tutorial as opposed to just making basic things like leggings or a skirt or a stretchy top or stretching fabric over wings that kind of thing this is what you could do for that so now that you've got this you know all cut out and ready to go you're gonna remove your skirt and then on this outline we've created as you can see in the video we're gonna go ahead and use some pins and pin these down and then we're gonna cut along the edges so I'm gonna go off camera real quick and I'm gonna pin this guy and I'll be right back and we'll cut it okay as I was pinning this side I realized that I needed to give you guys a little clarity on where to pin um, you've made your outline right here along the sides and where you want to pin in order to cut and sew with the pin still intact is here's your line and you want to pin on the inside of your line not the outside because we're cutting that part off and discarding it so you want to cut on the I mean you want to pin on the inside so I've already pinned that side so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this guy over here um, this is a small piece so I'm just gonna use four pins putting one at the bottom two in the middle and one at the top about an inch inside your piece. Okay, now that it's all pinned up, it's time to cut this bad boy. All right, now you don't need fancy scissors to do this because this is just some basic felt. It's not gonna fray on you like I've said, so I'm just using these guys, which are just some basic utility scissors. Nothing fancy, just some basic old scissors. And we're cutting along the line that we've made. Discarding what we're not going to use. Also, if you get better at this and you want to save some time, you could also take your double fabric, double it over, and just cut once. But I personally like, you know, to be able to see my full picture, so I like to cut it all at, all at uh, a different time, like, you know, both sides on different time. me you'll find out that you know if you're doing it this way that you're gonna figure out the way that you like to do it the best it's all a matter of personal preference and I left a little taller lip um, for my waistline and I think I might actually not go along my dotted line. I think I'm just gonna leave that the way it is just because I'm gonna like it to go up a little higher on my waist than, than the previous skirt. Um, so this is it and reminding yourself that it is still inside out so that's why that fabric looks faded like it does. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, the sewing machine and we're gonna sew this bad boy up. Now mind you, you could do it by hand, you know, with just a needle and thread doing a loop stitch because that's gonna be your most reinforced stitch so that way it doesn't pop open. Or you can do it with one of the Singer handheld devices and just like, no, 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 just do that bad boy that way. Or you could do it on a regular sewing machine. I today personally am gonna do it on a regular sewing machine. Okay, so now that we got our sewing machine set up and we've got our everything threaded and ready to go, uh, make sure you got a little pair of scissors so you can clip your thread when you're done. And we're just gonna get this bad boy rocking and rolling. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go um, as close to the, uh, to the pins as you can because whenever you cut it, you cut it an inch outside the skirt that you knew fit you. So the, the pins are now an inch inside the skirt. So that's your guideline is where you've pinned. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this bad boy up. 
and get going. And I think I'll go ahead and put my sewing machine on slow because I don't want it to like be really fast. I just want to show you how easy it is. Now my, mind you, you can do this literally with your hands or you can do this with your sewing machine or I even whipped out the old school like little singer handheld that you could literally do on this guy if you wanted. Like everything I've ever made that you guys have seen before was made with this tiny little handheld device like literally. So I didn't get this sewing machine until recently. My amazing Aunt Lynn got this bad boy for me. So um, yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and sew this up. So now, just start at the very beginning of where you made your cut. And mind you, we're not going fast because there's no need to go super fast if we're just showing people how to do things. Just staying an inch width on the outside of your skirt the whole way. Making sure you're staying on the outside of your pins. And when you get to the bottom and when you're at the top, just go back and forth a few times to reinforce that stopping point. personally like to do it manually, some people like to do it by hand, back and forth by hand, some people like to do it when they flip the switch on their sewing machines, I don't know, I just like to go slow with it. I'm one of those people that likes to see things work. <laughs> As you can see, you now have a really good reinforced line, and now we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Taking it from the top. gradually feeding it. It's going to, uh, you know, pull its own way, but you're just feeding it carefully so that way it still keeps going on the same track. Always staying in line with your pins. pick a cute little fleece piece and I'm pretty sure I've said felt like 788 times but I meant fleece this is fleece fabric not felt dear god <laughs> it's fleece not felt fleece 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 okay so I chose fleece because it's October the end of October and we're coming up on cold weather season you know in some places it's already cold but here in Tennessee it unfortunately is not yet it's a little chilly in the mornings, but it isn't cold by any means. Anyways, so I picked a, a little fleece piece so that way it would be cute, it'd be stretchy, and you'd be able to just slip this bad boy on and go about rocking your day like the awesome person you are. Okay. As you can see there's our little reinforced spot and our line is looking good so now we're gonna take our pins out and uh, try this bad boy on and see how it looks all right and as you can see you got yourself a little skirt 
So you just throw a tank top on and maybe a sweater or a jacket and you're ready to go. And um, the fleece does not need to be lined. So as you can see, it's like a super cute, just little Batman skirt, you know, ready for, ready to go. And I'm about to zoom in on the stitch so you can see how it is. And like the top, this is the top. I don't wanna show you the stomach, but this is the top. So it doesn't, it doesn't roll down. Like I can touch the ground and it doesn't roll. Uh, and I'm a curvy girl, so it doesn't matter if you're curvy or not. And that is how you make a skirt with uh, with no pattern. Um, you basically just lay something down that you've always worn over some stretchy fabric, whether that be a stretchy cotton or a t-shirt material, or you know, like what I've done here with uh, with the fleece. Um, you can use that. Um, and fleece comes in a million jillion different patterns, and it's perfect for winter time. Um, and it's super cute, so I suggest go and get me some fleece. And the same thing works for leggings, the same thing works for sweaters, pretty much anything. Um, you just lay it down, you trace it out, you pin it, you cut it, and you sew it. And there you go. All right, and just to give you a close-up of like what it looks like up close, as you can see, the uh, fleece doesn't need to be hemmed. It's like automatically hemmed, you know and how strong the thread looks, like, you know, the, the stitch. And it's stretchy, so it's super cute. And boom, you got you a little Batman skirt. Alrighty guys, and that's how you make a simple skirt, not using a pattern. You can pretty much do that with almost anything, like I said before, um, just as long as it's stretchy and you don't need to make any darts and you don't wanna use anything crazy like a linen or anything like that. Um, I personally have never really showed anybody how to do anything like that because it's like super duper mega jerry-rigged. <laughs> but hey, I mean, everybody's wanting to know, so that's how I do it. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I would be endlessly grateful. Okay, so until next week, dudes. Peace.